Hello to everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. It's me. <laughs> hello, can you hear me? Good afternoon. Hello, hello. All right. Well, welcome to another English class. Okay, today we're going to go over uh, this this class, class number 16, class number 16. So please get ready, get ready, please. Get your manual, get your notebook, your computer your or your cell phone, because we're gonna start. Well, yesterday, uh, yesterday we had, uh, uh, we had, this conversation, okay, and it says Angela and Matteo or um, or Matthew <laughs> are discussing about basic ideas to start developing a brand. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. Um, probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customer to do. I let customer do some promotion for me with the business cards. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising. You already decide what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to to focus on the kind of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, one more time. I went into business as a lawyer six months, six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customer do some promotion for me with the business cards. Your your clients can help you to do all the all the advertising. You already decided what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus focus on the kind of clients you want to do. You want to work with and define the brand you want. All right, let's get the start. Okay, so here it says. Here we have this conversation between uh, Mateo and Angela. So if you if you want, let me see. Can you be a volunteer? Or I need to volunteer. Me teacher. Me, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. Miss Rosibel, you are Mateo, okay. and I need one for Angela. 
Ok. Ready. Ok. I went, I went, I went into business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customers. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve to the business. How, how do I do that? I just usually let customers do some promotion, promotion for me with business cards. Your clients can't help you to do all the advertising. You already decide that what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to focus on the kind of client you want to work with and define the brand you want. The brand you want. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Let's continue. All right, how about, um, well, I don't know if we have more volunteers. Any one for Mateo and one for Angela? Me, teacher. Okay. Miss Concepcion, you are Mateo. And Me, teacher. One for, okay, Miss Cecilia? Yes. Okay, you are Angela. Ready? I went into business as a liar six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble for a cheap price, but they seem to prefer the competition. Uh, probably uh, you need to define the brand or the service you are providing to improve the business. How do I do that? I just usually let customers do, do some promotion for me with business cards. Uh, do clients can help you to do all the advertising you already designed working or long to focus on now? You have to focus on the king or clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, excellent. Just we need to reinforce the pronunciation of clients. Clients. Your clients. Clients. One more time, your client. Client? Excellent, very good. Okay, decided, you already decided. Decide. Decided. Decided? Decided. Decided? Decided. Excellent, you decided. Okay, also focus, focus. Como? Focus, es como una O, U, po, po. Focus. Okay. Exactly. Focus. Okay. okay. And let me see. Define. 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 Excellent. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. Uh, uh, are there more volunteers? Are there more volunteers? One for Mateo and one for Angela. Please. Is there another volunteer? One for Mateo. Mr. Manuel, thank you. And one for Mr. Excellent. All right. 
Thank you, mister. Let's start. Three, two, one, action. I went into business as a, <clears throat> as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customers. I have people find the best way out of legal trouble for a surprise, but they seem to prefer the competition. Uh, probably you need to define the uh, brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. How do you that? I just usually, usually let customer do it. some promotion for me with, with business card. Your clients can help you to do all the advertising sign. You already decide what kind of you of law, what kind of law you focus on. Now you have to fo focus on the kind of client you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, uh, advertising. 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 One more advertising. time. Advertising. Advertising. Excellent. All right. Let me see. Decided. Decided. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. And providing. 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 Exactly. Providing. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much for your participation in the. Okay. In the um, reading. Well, now I need. I need your help. Okay, give me, okay, create one sentence using barely, I barely, oh. barely. I barely, give me one sentence, please. Give me one sentence using the word barely. Uh, uh, this morning is barely enough for okay. a pair of shoes. All right, barely en enough. I'm sorry, enough for a pair, a pair of uh -huh. shoes. Of shoes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Barely. Is there another is there another volunteer? Me teacher. Thank you, Miss. I barely work until six. 
PM. I'm sorry, I barely work in. I barely work until 6 p.m. Ah, okay. Until 6 p.m. Very good. Excellent sentence. I barely work until 6 or till 6. Okay, well, um, how about using the word chip? Give me a sentence using the word chip. Chip. The spans are ship. I'm sorry, the what? The spans are ship. The These pants. Parts. Estos pantalones. I'm sorry? These, These what? These pants are ship. Oh, okay, these pants are cheap. Okay, are cheap. All right, what is the opposite of cheap? Expensive. Expensive, very good. Expensive. Very good. Expensive. Excellent. Okay. Um, okay, give me another sentence using the word chip. My shoes. My shoes are very cheap. Okay, your shoes are very cheap. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Let me see. Okay, another sentence using the word seem. They seem. It seems. He seems. Give me a sentence using the word sim. Sim. I seem happy today. It I seem or you seem. What do you say? I'm sorry. I seem happy okay. today. I seem happy today. Very good. Okay, let me see, improve. I like this word a lot, improve. Give me a sentence using the word improve.
improve. Give me a sentence using the word improve. Improve. Employees improve every day. Okay. Employees improve every, every day. day. Excellent. Very good. We can all improve sales. Improve. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Good. All right, focus. Carlos, give me a sentence using the word focus. I focus on learning English. Okay, you focus on learning English. Very good. Focus on. Focus on. I focus on improving customer service. On improving, I focus on improving customer service. Very good. Excellent sentence. And the last one, the last volunteer. You have to focus on work. You have to focus on work. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So we have this. Look at the conversation and complete the sentence below. Number one. I help. I'm sorry. I I help. I help people. I hate find the best way of of legal trouble. Ah, okay. I help people find find the best way of of legal trouble. Okay, I help people find the best way out of legal trouble. Very good. I just usually let let let, let customers. customers do some, do some, advertising, do some advertising, advertising for me. Okay, your clients can't help help you to do to do all the advertising. Okay, uh, now we're gonna see the use of help and let. The training help a small business owner replicate the success of big brands a marketing expert could help you to understand the basic the basic principles of branding let some of, let someone base form of the verb some companies let clients go through a service so as usual we need to complete these exercises
la forma base del verbo. Ok. The let. Let's there. Let companies. Let companies develop. Yes, develop without yes. a plan. A plan? Plan to improve. Okay. Business plan. Develop. I see. Mm -hmm. Nice to develop. No. Mm. Sí, sería tú solo como develop. Develop for me, but I don't know conception. Si quieres no. seguimos y después revisamos. Ah. The plan helps. The plan helps. Helps employees. Mm -hmm. Become. Become part of the brand. Then, specific, specific about a business brand. Let's, Let's. customer. Let's bear. Mm -hmm. Customers identify. Okay. Branding let let's sería verdad. Branding let the customer add the customer that is area. participado porque estoy, estoy con la cámara apagada pero sí estoy eh, escuchando y me familiarizo como a, a los diferentes eh, eh, acentos de cada uno de los compañeros uh -huh. porque es, esa es la clave pues sí pues ay mister mister qué tal mister bien ¿Cómo serio ¿Cómo está, ahí está la niña. ah ya incorporando es que, es que tengo mi, mi, mi reloj biológico de, eh, eh, de, de Sí, es que estoy de vacaciones. <risa> Pero en un mal momento porque mi esposa está trabajando y solo mis hijos están en la casa. Entonces, eh, híjole. Y es que el viernes salí. Entonces son mis primeros días y... No, no logro hacer mi rutina diaria, aunque avancé en un montón de cosas. Por ejemplo, Hello. la plataforma... Hello, sí, sí. La plataforma ya la terminé. Pero me interesa hacer esto, lo que le decía a Rosy. Eh, yo, yo, yo casi que estoy obligando mi cerebro a... Y, y todos los días le estoy metiendo vocabulario nuevo. Y lo que, está, lo que usted estaba haciendo ahora en clase, cómo podemos utilizar eh, las palabras nuevas en una oración cotidiana. Porque Disculpe que sé... nos interrumpa ¿Qué están Hola. haciendo? Ahorita escuchando la que usted está cenando Pupusa de una vuelta <ríe> No hombre, no se comió la pupusa ah. Fíjese uh -huh. que eh, eh, el grupo se hizo Porque teníamos que contestar las tres oraciones Que aparecen en la página 
30 después de haber eh, escuchado el diálogo. Okay. Y, 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 no, y, no, y no, nadie puede compartir, porque si yo no tengo el módulo, no salía la compu. No, yo no tengo dónde compartir, no puedo. Qué terrible, sí, te he hecho. Pero tal vez hoy que juegue Amigo Secreto me sale ahí algo para compartir. Una computadora. No, dije algo para compartir. Ah. <risa> Ay, no. Ah, y lo otro que estamos hablando con Rosy es el, eh, qué, qué, qué cosas nuevas hay que hacer como para ir avanzando en, en el aprendizaje del idioma. Porque, eh, pues sí, el chiste es ir avanzando. El chiste es aprender algo cuando nos graduemos. Uh, fíjense que yo lo veo con, con el tema de aprenderme a comunicar. Ay, horrible. Porque eh, para mí eso se trata, el, el, el poderme comunicar en una lengua nueva. Uh -huh. Vaya, la, 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 la número uno dice, eso lo podemos encontrar en el párrafo uno en, de, de Matthew. Dice, I help people find the best way out of legal trouble. Luis, eh, una consulta. ¿Me puede tomar diga. de captura y mandármelo al, y mandarlo al chat de acá del Zoom? Uh, va, voy a hacer lo siguiente. ¿Pero se lo mando a usted o cómo? No, aquí al chat de Zoom. Es que en... O sea, lo que puedo hacer es lo siguiente. Sí, puedo, le voy a tomar una foto a, al manual que tengo impreso y se lo envío a usted. Vaya. Gracias. Vaya, está bueno. Va. Vaya, Rosibel, dice la, 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 la indicación. Look at the conversation and complete the sentences. Sentence below. Entonces, eh, en el número uno, eh, dice I, eh, está en espacio en blan blanco. Luego, people, otro espacio en blanco. The best way out of legal trouble. Logra identificar dónde está esa parte del diálogo y qué. ¿En, dónde, en, en qué página estamos? En la 30. Ah. No. ¿No qué? No, no es eso. Eso ya lo hicimos. Ahorita ya lo hicimos eso. Sí, ahorita estamos en la 31 de Excel más plus someone. Ah, uh, ok. I'm sorry. Es que yo solo que vi que tenía el teacher en la, en la última. How to use How to use cause of tibers. Ok. Ya terminó de cenar, Ceci. ¿Ah? Bueno, entonces estamos en la página es? 31, Ceci. Espérame, ahí voy a ver qué, dónde. Okay. Las las palabras del del, del paréntesis vamos a usar. Ah, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Vaya, en la número uno. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Usted. Yo no, yo no estoy compartiendo, no inventé. Ah, pues el teacher vio nuestra necesidad. Ahí del teacher, sí, ya vi pantalla de inglés comparativo, dice. Vaya, entonces, number one, think about how your business helps. Help your customers. Helps. Hel helps con S al final. Helps your customer uh, to satisfy. Ya tomo nota, Rosy. Sí, sí, sí. Vaya, la número dos. Inventors want. Inventors, uh, no es investors. Ya, yeah, perdón, investors. Perdón, perdón. Investor want. Let. Ahí sería let. Uh -huh. uh, companies uh, develop. Uh -huh. Number three. The plan. Helps. Helps employees to become. Number four, being specific about a business brand. Um, let's let customers uh, identify. Oh. Identify. Identify. Number five, branding less. Branding less, the customer add. Don Memito está ahí. Ahí está Manuel también. No. 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 Solo estamos ustedes dos, yo y el teacher. Va. Ok. Ya, ya, ya la van contestando, Luis. ¿Cómo? Ya la van haciendo. ¿Eh? eh si gusta... No, no, para nada. Si gusta, empezamos con el número uno. Yes. Vaya. Uh, the number one thing about how your business helps. Helps con, con S. Yes, Miss. Helps okay. your customers to satisfy. Okay, eso sí no se modifica. Uh, solo le pone el to antes del satisfy. To, to, to customer to, 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 to. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Number two. Mm -hmm. Investors want let. Espérame, 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 espérame. Investor want. Es que la voy copiando de un solo para hacer en el cuaderno. Ah, ok. Espérame, espérame. Let. Ahí, ahí, así como está en los paréntesis, exactamente igual lo voy a poner. Let okay. it develop. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Ahorita, 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 ahorita. Companies develop. Those are playing to Bye. 
Number La, three. No, number three is the play. The plan helps. Con S o sin S? With S. Okay, thanks. To become. Employees. Mm -hmm. to, to become. To become. To become part of the brand. Okay. Number four. Uh, being specific about a business brand, let's customer identify our product easily. Is Beijing or Beijing? Beijing or Beijing? Bain, specific. About a business. Brandlets. Let's see, modificarlo. No, yo voy a decir. Let's. Let's. Okay. Dice el teacher que tres minutos nos queda. Ya, le que, solo le quedan una oración y, y la, la mitad de la otra. Identify. Tú. Customer, tú. No, no. Solo ¿Es? identify. ¿Por qué no lleva tú esa? Ah, ahí le contestó el mister, mire, con una carita sonriente. Ya lo vi. Vaya, le voy a dar los cinco y luego eh, eh, empezamos a, a desarrollar la, los conceptos para ver mm. en qué punto lleva ese, en qué no. Cinco, ahorita, 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 termino, ahorita, termino rápido. Branding. Let's. Con ese siempre. Sí. Ok, the customer. Ah. Ah, eso es así. Uh -huh. Sin agregarle nada. Uh -huh. Vaya, ya estuvo Luis. Thanks. Vaya. Yo creo que no, no, no todavía no nos está llamando. Pero... No, todavía no, todavía no da chancecito. Qué calor. Aquí está lloviendo. Eh, aquí no ha llovido ni cuando estuvo lloviendo un montón usted. Qué valor. Yo lo he puesto así bien gris. Dice... ¿Cuál íbamos a hacer, Luis? ¿Cuál punto dijo? Pero, 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 ya, ya le explico. Es que fíjese que yo, yo como lo veo es así, ¿va? pero uh -huh. si yo veo la, la, la pregunta número uno, dice, think about how your business, 
¿verdad? Y, y estoy hablando en este caso de del negocio, que se podría decir que es, es, es la tercera persona. Entonces, en ese caso, por eso al verbo help le agrego una S. ¿Verdad? Y después dice your customer. Eh, a diferencia de la 4 que solo dice customer. Entonces, en ese caso yo identifico que eh, para que tenga eh, lógica, tiene que llevar el conectivo lógico tú. Uh -huh. Igual que la 3, que solo habla de employees. Pero no sé, no sé cómo explicarse, ¿no? That's all. Ya no estoy sacando. Pues sí, usted... Eh, eh. Okay, well, uh, now that you had a chance to work on it, okay, uh, let's solve it together. It says, think about how your how your business helps helps your customer, customer to say, satisfy satisfy their needs. Their needs. Okay, uh, investors want let. let. Don't let companies develop without a plan to improve business brands. The plan helps, helps. helps employees become part of the brand. Being specific about business brand. Let. 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 Customer. Let customer. Identify. Or Identify our product easily. Five branding. Let's 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 customer. Al al a perceived value to the product. Okay. How do you design a checklist of steps to define the brand of a product? Read the basic che checklist below and discuss it with a partner. Is your brand strong enough to give you the internal and external value that you need in your marketing? Check yes or no for the following descriptor. Your brand your brand relates to your target audience intensely without too much thought. Your brand relates to your target audience instantly without too much thought. Okay, your brand shares the uniqueness of what you offer and why it is important. 
the brand reflects the promise that you are making to who you are targeting. Your brand reflects the value that you want to represent as a customer. So over there, you have some examples of checklists. Of checklists. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna practice. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna share with you a link. A link and we're gonna, gonna work, okay, on it. Okay, after this practice, we're gonna study uh, the use of modal verb, modal verb. Modal verbs. Okay. Hold on, please. Sorry, I'm going to share. Okay, there we go. Can you see my screen now? Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh my God. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Well, first of all, we're gonna work on the exercise that I told you. Here you have the link. I got two players. Thank you. Six players. Okay, in this exercise, you will see different tenses. You will see simple present, simple past, future, because I want you to practice the, the structures that you already started. I got eight players. May I start now? Yes. 
Okay, nine players. Okay, let's start. Remember, this is a quiz where you will find different structures. Is it easy? Is it difficult? Okay. 
bowl.
Okay, only two. Miss Cecilia, Clarissa, Miss Concepcion, Miss Sandra, Miss Rosibel. How was it, Mr. Luis? Finish. Finish. Sí, yes, yes, sir. Good. Finish. Okay. Only three, Miss Cecilia, Miss Rosibel, and Miss Clarix. Okay, only three players. Okay, time is over. Okay, well, uh, Miss Cecilia, Miss Clarixa, Miss Rosibel, Mr. Manuel, Isa, Concepcion, Luis Enrique, Miss Yvonne, Miss Sandra, and the winner, Miss Karen, very good.
I'm sorry. Hello? Okay, continue. Okay. Excellent. Let's check. We're going to check some question. Okay. <laughs> Nobody here. Okay. Okay, here it is May. That is a possibility, okay? We need to reinforce it. Here, this one. Mustn't. You mustn't smoke. You mustn't smoke. It is obligation, okay? We're going to review the... He didn't use the play, the trumpet. He used the play, the saxophone. Okay, he used... Very good. Okay, well, now, we're going to review a little bit about the model verb. Okay, for example, just to, just to know. Okay, uh, when do we use should when do we use should does anybody know when do we use should okay or when do we use must I don't know if correct teacher, but it's when you do something, but it's like a ruler or, or, or... Exactly. Rule is obligation. Obligation. All right, obligation. Good. Well, and hold on, I'm going to share my screen. And we're going to go over the moreovers. Hold on, I need to... It doesn't open this. Hold on, please. Hold on, I'm having some. I'm. I have some issues with this. What I mean, okay, there we go. Can you see my screen now? No, right. Okay, for example, yes. like I said last time, we have a variety of model verbs. Tenemos una variedad de model verbs. Okay, y los model verbs um, are like, they belong, all of them belong to a list, a special list, with, we're going to call it like that, special list. Okay, um, for example, uh, we have can, could, may, might, will, would, must, shall, should, out of. But today we're going to review only the most important. For example, more others. We have can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, and with. Some of these already started.
For example, what are modal verbs? Modal verbs are used to express certain hypothetical conditions, such as advice, capability, or request. Los modal verbs se van a utilizar en ciertos casos. Por ejemplo, si queremos expresar obligación o algo que es mandatorio o una recomendación okay, o una habilidad, like capability, un consejo, una solicitar algo para sonar más sofisticado o más formal. Ok, we're gonna, we're gonna use the verb, the model verbs. For example, eh, consider the difference between these two examples. I swim every day and I can swim every day, every Tuesday. Okay, here we have two examples. I swim every Tuesday and I can swim every Tuesday. The first example is a simple factual statement. The speaker participant in a swimming activity every weekend on Tuesday. The second example uses the modal verb can. Notice how the meaning changes slightly. The speaker does not swim every Tuesday. They are saying they are capable of swimming every Tuesday. Okay, eh, por ejemplo, en la primera oración, el sentido es una rutina, es alguna actividad que realiza con todos los Tuesday. Y en la segunda, pues no está describiendo su rutina, únicamente está mencionando una habilidad que posee el, el, el sujeto, que es que puede nadar. Ok, when are moral verb used? ¿Cuándo son utilizados? Son Some things seems likely, but we don't know for sure. In these cases, you can use the moral, moral verb should and must to show probability without certainty. Her parents must be so proud. My baby brother should be asleep by now. ¿Cuándo utilizamos must? Must lo utilizamos para expresar una obligación o algo que es mandatorio. For example, if you drive a car, you must have a licensed driver. Cuando usted automóvil, debe de, es obligación, debe de, you must have a licensed driver. Okay? Must, obligación, recuerden eso. Must expresa obligación, manda, lo que es mandatorio. Okay, my baby brother should be asleep by now. Okay, when... Um, More, more verbs used. Possibility. In situations when something is possible but not certain, use the modal verb could, may, or might. Okay. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar esos tres? Could, may, or might. Cuando hay un grado de posibilidad para realizar una actividad o que suceda algo. Y la probabilidad pues llamémosle un 40% que suceda. Ok, entonces no estamos seguros si sucederá o no. Por ejemplo, eh, judging by the clown, clowns, it might rain today. Okay, no estamos seguros que va a llover, pero es una posibilidad. It might rain today. He may become the youngest professional soccer player ever. He may. Él posiblemente o se convertirá posiblemente. ¿Ok? Es una posibilidad baja. No estamos seguros que se vaya a convertir en, en un futbolista. Para expresar sugerencia o consejos, tenemos eh, 
the modal verb should. Should. Este modal verb expresa es sugerencia, consejo. For example, you should try the lasagna. The guy should wear less perfume, less cologne. Okay. If I feel sick, I should go to the doctor. Remember, should, sugerencia o consejo. May, might, could, posibilidad. Must, obligación. Okay, for example, you should try the lasagna. You should try the lasagna. How about this? You need to unscramble. Tienen que poner en orden las palabras. That guy uh, should wear colons. Less should should wear less oh, let's. Okay, less okay también tenemos obligación o necesidad Ok, eh, ¿qué tal esta? ¿Cómo cuadre, ¿Cuál podría ser? As a child, she. Bueno. Ok. ¿Se recuerdan que, una, que cuando seamos can, les dije que could puede tener tres funciones? La primera es um, que es el pasado de can. Es una habilidad que usted realizaba en el pasado. Por ejemplo, yo podía o ella podía. También se puede utilizar para eh, expresar posibilidad en el presente. Por ejemplo, he could come early. Él podría venir temprano. Y la siguiente es para solicitar um, algo de una forma más cortés. Pero acá tenemos que elegir entre eh, could and can. Depending on the context. Depending on the context. John speaks German really well. Can or John could speak. He sounds like a native. Is it could or can? Could. Could. Yeah. Can because John it says the ability that John has speak. is to speak okay. German really well. Okay. When I was a, a baby, when I was, I can or I could run could. 30 kilometers. Could. Could. could exactly because it's an ability in the past. The police search the whole area, but they could. could not find her or couldn't.
hear the bird chirping early in the morning? Can. I can. can. I could. Uh. Yeah, here it is again because it's an ability. Anyways. Can you play the guitar? It's an ability. Can you play the guitar? I can juggle three balls at once. He can't. Couldn't. Can't jump over Couldn't. the fence when he was. Couldn't. Couldn't because it's an ability in the past. I can't. Can't. I can't bake delicious chocolate chip cookies right now. I'm sorry. I guess those are enough. Hold on. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try with an exercise. Okay, let's. I need to share with you. Well, I'm not sure the link. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna practice the modal verbs. Remember, might, may, could possibilities can ability in the present could request possibility ability in the past should advice or suggestion must obligation
I got six players. May I start now? Okay, I'm gonna start. Yes. There we go.
finished. Okay, we need to practice more uh, uh, phrase the modal verbs. Well, Okay. Well, we're going to review this topic tomorrow with more exercises. Okay. The model verbs. Okay, we're gonna go over the should, must, might, could. Okay. Hold on. Well, and now. I need to take the attendant list. Okay, please get ready. And something that I want to tell you, and that is very important to finish the homework, please. We're going to end it up the unit three. So do not forget to finish the homework, please. And now I need to take the, the attendant list. Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Maribel Ramos. Present teacher. Present. De López. Present teacher. Alvarado de Benavides. Present teacher. Guerrero Molina. López González. Gamas Melara. Santana González. Present. España Marroquín. Alvarado Mejía, León Rivera, Present teacher. Castaneda Velasco, Present teacher. Romero Ayala, Present teacher. Rosibel Hernández, Present. Molina de García, Present. López de Cabrera. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you very much for your participation. Like I said, do not forget to do your homework assignment. See you tomorrow. God bless you and bye bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.